Hello, hello there, and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together. Well, this is Easter weekend, and it is sunny right now here in my garden on the Saturday afternoon. And so I just wanted to say Happy Easter to everyone and to let you know that my daffodils are starting to open up. So I'm gonna give you a quick little tour of the garden so that you can see what it looks like here for this last weekend in March. Isn't it fantastic how the sun is shining and things are just starting to green up here in my garden. It really, really makes a difference when you get that rain. And so it has been raining for the last a couple of days and a lot of rain a lot of rain so things are starting to spring forth and come up out of the ground so let's take a quick walk around and i will show you what's happening in catherine's garden and home where we grow 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 together hello hello and welcome to catherine's garden and home where we grow, 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 grow together. And I just wanted to show you my daffodils that are starting to open up for Easter. This is Saturday, March 30th, and tomorrow is going to be Easter Sunday or Resurrection Sunday. And my daffodils that I planted here are starting to open up and give me some beautiful blooms. Now they all haven't done that because we can see here that there are still some that need to open. And the tulips are coming up as well. And I also have what is called alliums. Alliums that are starting to form here as well but i just wanted you to see that spring is on its way all throughout the garden i planted daffodils uh, every single year i try to add more and more and some of them multiply and come back more full than before and so these here, these daffodils, these are the ice folly daffodils. And they haven't opened up yet, but they will. And by the way, look at my hydrangea. Uh, they look like they want to flower. And hopefully this year I will have a lot of hydrangea blooms. And just hoping that we don't have a cold freeze that will destroy them uh, but that they will come up and produce some beautiful flowers for us but back to the daffodils so these are ice folly daffodils that will be opening up real soon real soon and then this is paquisandra uh, this green leafy plant here it's really pretty and it's kind of evergreen and it is nice and green adding some color to the garden some green then I have here some tulips that I'm looking forward to seeing come forth and there is the rabbit in the garden for Easter Here in this central bed, a lot of things are coming up. And in the back here, you are looking at the alliums, purple sensation alliums that are popping up. I planted these alliums about two or three years ago, and each year they come back a little bit more fuller and thicker and more beautiful. Then here I have what is called bleeding hearts, but it's dysentria, I think it's called. And they self-seed too. 
and also uh, it's a perennial and I think they also travel through uh, with the roots you know they they grow both ways through seeds and also through roots the roots traveling through and then this here this is a, a woodland plant native to Massachusetts and has little yellow flowers and if you cut it down it leaves like a yellow stain on your hand um, it is but it's beautiful with the purple sensation allium them, both of them coming up together and then we can see also over here that my um, iris are starting to form and you can see the rhizomes there in this part of the garden. Now, notice that there's that crocus right there, the purple crocus. That crocus seeded itself. I didn't seed it there. It just came up on its own. So what happens is that they seed around in the garden and, and just end up looking really beautiful as part of the, the garden at this time of the year. I have to show you my garlic. They are looking so good. They are really growing well. Look at that. The rain has really made a difference for them. And in this pot, I have my blueberry tree or bush. And you can see the buds starting to form. I'm gonna to need to go in and trim it up a bit and remove the dead wood. But other than that, it's looking good. But I'm really impressed with my garlic. The collard greens. They're looking so good. And tasting great also. We have been eating them, the young tender leaves, and they're just so delicious with the, with the meals. And what we do is we take the outer leaves and leave the inner leaves. As long as there are some of these inner leaves here, it will continue to grow. So it's just a matter of pulling these leaves here that are no good of course off and allowing it to put its energy into the healthy ones but they are delicious yeah so you just pull it off like that and you leave it looking nicely trimmed and ready to grow out so that you can harvest some more for your meals. Absolutely delicious. You can see that we've been eating them. See? Yeah, so this is what it looks like right now in the garden. It looks good, I think, for me not doing very much. We're starting to see signs of spring. With the daylilies, the tulips, the roses, the spirea, giving us a little color. From this viewpoint, this is what the garden looks like. 
The grass is getting very, very green. It's beautiful. And so as I walk through the garden here with you on this Easter Eve, you can see how my garden is faring. The grass is definitely greener and things are starting to spring forth. Uh, it's not where I want it to be. Definitely hoping to really get in and do a lot of garden work and design, but I do see life and that is very, very encouraging. I want to show you some beautiful spring flowers. These beautiful blue flowers. And then also the crocus. Yeah, this is the patch of crocus that are back here by the rock. And here are some more daffodils that I put in my front garden. You can see that they're coming up with the iris and also the daylilies and the sedum and the chasta daisy coming up, the alliums, the bachelor um, mountain blue coming up here these perennials are just rising it's beautiful i also have bee balm in this bed but yeah i planted some of those daffodils in this bed i normally don't do that but this time i decided to do so and they are looking very good Hopefully they'll come up a little more higher. And the tulips are coming up too. I also see right here, my peony. And then I have some more peony a little further up. But right there, is, that's the peony. I think it's called coral pearl and it's really pretty and it's a good bunch good good patch there so I might get a lot of peonies hopefully I also have some growing right here too it's small but I'm happy to see it coming up Thank you so much for stopping by here with me at Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together. Well, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below and let me know how things are going in your garden. I hope things are going well for you. I hope that you were able to get a lot done in your garden, and I hope that you're enjoying this time 
of year, the spring season, when things are starting to awaken in your garden? Well, if you are, leave a comment down below and tell me what you like best about your garden right now when it looks something like this. And let me know. Well, have a wonderful weekend. Bye. As we grow, 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 grow together.